Welcome back to Warsaw Fan TV. We're halfway through the transfer window and things are hotting up a little bit. Uh, we did get Joe Lowen, um, a very competitive centre half, and Robbie Wilmot, who uh, his cameo uh, away to Stockport in the Cup showed that he knows how to put a cross in. Uh, he was pretty good on that. So, who's he going to be crossing to? It looks like. Uh, Walsh are about to confirm Jamil Matt is going to be signing from uh, Forest Green Rovers. Uh, Forest Green Rovers accepted a bid from Warsaw, um, and uh, or agreed a fee rather from Warsaw, and also Tranmere. He had been talking Tranmere, but um, he's showing a preference to uh, sign for Warsaw, so that looks like that's going to happen. Uh, Jamil Matt, six foot four. Um, plenty of height in there, plenty of aerial ability for those Wilmot crosses. Um, he's 33, but um, he's still a wily old fox. Um, what Warsaw have missed for many years is a poacher. And uh, obviously Danny Johnson has been fulfilling that role adequately. Uh, well, Jamil Matt is another poacher. He knows how to get on to the end of things and, uh, and knows how to finish. Um, last four years, he scored uh, 63 goals. So we're not goal shy by any means. He scored 19 goals and 9 assists in Forest Green Rovers' uh, promotion campaign. Um, he did have a bit of a blip in the middle of the season, but last six games, he got one goal and one assist. So we're back on the trail. And uh, this season in League One, Forest Green Rovers clearly are a struggling team this season. Um, but he's still got a goal and assist in the last seven. So um, he's still popping up with goals. And uh, the key for me, as Warsaw uh, looking to be in a promotion race, what you need is experienced players. And uh, Warsaw generally is quite a young team. So uh, the likes of Wilmot coming in and uh, Jamil Matt coming in, that's putting some uh, experience in and around the place. And I think it is protection as well. If Danny Johnson doesn't stay, Jamil Matt would be an adequate replacement for him. If Danny Johnson does stay, which we're hoping he will, <laughs> um, he's a great option off the bench or even playing alongside Danny Johnson. But he's definitely given us options up front and um, finishing ability. He also knows how to take penalties. Uh, we've got a very good penalty scoring record, which will come into play at some, po at some point, no doubt. Um, another player that um, is possibly coming to Warsaw, um, Will Jaskalainen, as you might guess from the name. He is the son of UC Jaskalainen, um, and he's been recently uh, with Wimbledon as a reserve keeper. And with Warsaw looking for backup keepers... Um, he would fit the bill for that. He's just 24 and uh, he'd be looking for game time and would be uh, a decent backup keeper, which is what Walsall need. And again, he's somebody that can develop. He's only a young lad, so uh, there's a future in that as well. So uh, will he get confirmed? Will he get confirmed as, as a signing? And Jamil Matt, that's not 100% confirmed yet, but... There are rumours on Twitter that it's all done deal. So uh, we wait for Warsaw's confirmation. Right then, the joy and the pain. I'll be at Tranmere tomorrow, so I uh, hope to see some of you there. And uh, helping to bring back three points. Come on.